morning YouTube. I'm trying to wake up. I had a pretty horrific nightmare last night. I'm a little shaken up by it. I don't even want to talk about it. It's super weird. Oh look, there's a, an Ikea LAC table. A white one. Normally I'd be dropping what I'm doing to grab that. Because I love those little white Ikea LAC tables. But... I don't have a lot of time to do what I'm trying to do right now. So I think I just need to keep focused on that. So it's uh, 1247 p.m. Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. And I've been saying for a couple of days that I got an email from Pro Logistics regarding, actually regarding a handful of jobs, but specifically a forklift operator job. If memory serves, what the hell is this person doing where it says no parking? Just parking. I don't care. That sign doesn't matter. It doesn't apply to them, right? I am tired. Did not sleep well last night. Except when I got you know, sleepy enough to actually have a really intense dream. The only thing sticking out in the dream, like, that I feel like mentioning is, because uh, most of it was pretty bizarre, was that Madonna died. That was gonna weird me out if I check the news and find out that actually happened. Anyway, I just, I just looked at the email. I, I was just looking to make sure that I knew what address I was headed to and that this is the time that would be appropriate to head to that address for the email, and it is. The office is just south of Loop 202 on Scottsdale Road in Tempe. So that's reasonably close, also reasonably close to my... Um, work. So I should have plenty of time, in spite of the fact that I slept in later than I wanted to. But yeah, I think there's a, one of the jobs that was listed was a, most of the jobs didn't really, I mean, they're all better paying than what I have, and that's not saying much. But, but one of them struck me as fairly decent paying, and forklift and very close. The one thing I don't remember being listed on those jobs were the hours. I really want night shifts. I don't like working days. I don't like getting up in the morning. That whole myth of, oh, you'll get used to it. I really, I, I absolutely couldn't get used to the shift I was working when I was working for Williamson Old Furniture. I just couldn't do it. That was absolute misery and torture for me. In spite of the fact that it was a decent job and it was a decent paying job. That long ass commute there didn't help either. Day shift working for MLS not as early not as bad, but again, that was borderline torture for me. I, I absolutely didn't like it. I ended up going to night shift fairly quick, which I kind of figured would end up happening, which is why I took the job. But I do wonder, had night shift never become available, how long I would have lasted going into work every day at 7 a.m.? I struggle checking to work at 2 in the afternoon. It's one thing I really miss about being a taxi driver is just uh, being a taxi driver with a 24-7 cab. was just waking up and going to work when I felt comfortable. And if I overslept it, it wasn't a big deal. I was a mess. Now granted, it was a little more difficult when I was working for VIP taxi because I had pre-assigned runs and they were big money runs and I knew that they didn't have enough cash business for me to make ends with 
route those. So of course, I kept on those. Those did require that I got up at a certain time, but they made a point to give me the later ones because they knew where I was a night guy. And also, I was really good at the stuff that I did, so I didn't screw that up by getting me things that were earlier than they knew I would be up. It helps when you know the people doing the scheduling. something I'd be willing to travel farther for, but they'll list those kind of jobs and have it look like you're applying to it, and then once you apply to it, uh, you didn't actually apply to that job, you signed up for their recruiting website, and then they spam the shit out of you. That's the only thing that makes sense for how many jobs I'm getting offered that say, blah, 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 job near you in... Avondale. Avondale's not near me. I've traveled to Avondale to work. I've applied for jobs in Avondale that looked really good. But no, Avondale's not near me. And the mediocre to okay jobs they're offering me are nothing I'd be willing to travel to Avondale for. In fact, some of them really kind of piss me off because they've used such a shitty tactic to get my information and thus wrongly assumed that I lived in Avondale or that I'm wanting a job in Avondale. One that regularly comes up in the feed is uh, Costco hiring near you in Avondale. There is a Costco near me. It's not in Avondale. I would love to work at Costco. Not in Avondale. Send me a job offer for the Costco at 44th Street and Oak and I'm, I'm in. But quit talking to me about Avondale. Anyway, Pro Logistics is a, is a hiring agency that I've actually gone to their office a few times. And, and um, they do have the correct information. I've even got a debit card from them. I have no idea where I'm supposed to park here. It does look like there's very limited parking on the left, but I get a feeling that might have some restrictions on it that don't work for me because it's just too convenient and probably loading zone or 10 minutes only or something 15 minute parking curbside pickup only 
No, it was probably intended primarily for a ride show. Dude's picking up their uh, woman who went out shopping. Beer garden. Watermark Square. This is the first time I've gone into this development since it's been built. Now you have the right of way, dude. Don't. You don't have the right of way. I gave myself time to get here and back. I didn't give myself time for uh, a crazy trampoline thing going on on the right. Um, didn't give myself time for complicated parking. This is, this is a parking limited to three hours, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't read all the details. I'll be here less than three hours. Oh, the 15 minute parking was tempting. I mean, it, I do have an Uber sticker in my, uh, there's a spot. There's a spot that's reasonably, it's reasonably easy to get in and out of. Aside from it's gonna be totally blind coming out because of giant SUVs parked on each side of me. But that's pretty much every parking spot ever these days. Wish me luck on this crap. Thanks for coming with on the ride.